Hello everybody, I am Rob Chapman from Chapman Guitars. I just wanted to take the time today to run through some of the monumentally massive changes that have taken place for Chapman to do with the product that we're manufacturing, to do with the structure of the business. Basically lots of frequently asked questions from you guys I'm going to be answering them all now. Some of them are really exciting, at least they are for me and I hope they are for you. So the first thing is we have renamed all of our guitars. Ever since the conception of the ghost fret, I always loved the fact that it had a real name. I, I, I grew bored of the ML1, ML2, ML3 concept and I don't really gel with the guitar. I normally name all of my guitars. And so we decided to name everything. Um, this actually was the concept and idea of Dan Orchard, our marketing manager. I thought it was brilliant. So we had a little brain muddle, helicopter sky viewed on a bunch of concepts and came up uh, with using fighter pilot call signs. I remember reading an article once in Total Guitar Magazine that said the average rock guitar player has similar dexterity to a fighter pilot. I thought that was really cool. So we used fighter pilot call signs. So now we've got the Lawmaker instead of the ML3. The ML2 will be called the Herald. Um, you'll be familiar probably with the Pegasus by now. The Guardian, which is our new shape. The Sundown is the ML1. We've got the SAR63 or the Sarge. We've got the DPT. Everything has a name. I much prefer this method. I feel like I'm bonding and making new relationships with the guitars because they actually have a name. The next thing is one range. We, for now at least, have departed from the idea of a standard affordable range, a pro range, and then maybe even something higher. Our current focus is on Chapman guitars. So we just have Chapman guitars as one range, roughly kind of one price point, sits around where the pro range was before and currently no interest in making anything more affordable. Doesn't mean that we never will um, make anything slightly cheaper or slightly more expensive, but we wanted to focus ourselves on one range to make things a little bit easier for dealers who have a minimum order quantity. They don't want to have to order hundreds of guitars and it makes it easier for us to really focus on new product to make it as good as possible. Making new product for us is always really exciting and we recently moved to a new factory. You probably have seen the behind the scenes documentary doing a walkthrough of our new facility in India. If you haven't, it's one of the previous videos. I'd urge you to go and check it out. We're really excited about this. This factory is incredible. My friend Trevor Wilkinson introduced me to Harmony Musical in Chennai, India. These guys already have been making incredible products for Dean, for BC Rich, a whole bunch of other companies, and it's second to none. They've invested a lot of money, time, and resources into incredible gear, highly skilled people. And I went there and checked it out, and I was quite frankly blown away. We had prototypes made many years ago, uh, Lee and I were just jumping around like a couple of excited, well, you know me and Lee, so you know how we jumped around. <laughs> and ultimately we made a decision to put all of our manufacturing eggs in that basket. I believe in it that much. The product is second to none. Trev, as a consultant to Harmony in India, has done absolute miracles and wonders. The quality is fantastic. The musicality is incredible and I'm so happy with our new facility in India. So all the guitars come from India, one range, everything is named. We have new artists and a new focus on artists. We're looking now more to be inspired by help, assist and work with signed and touring bands like Tiger Cub, Blackstone Cherry, even Steel Panther. We're looking for bands that inspire us to be in a band. Because after all, that's where the people from Chapman Guitars come from. We come from playing in little venues on the circuit, sticky floors, 50 people in the audience, sometimes just the bar staff. 
Those are the best gigs. You may have heard that Chapman guitars used to go direct to the dealer, so the factory would ship them straight to the dealer and there was no middleman. Well, actually, Chapman got a little bit too big for that method to be practical. The other thing was, it was very difficult for smaller mom and pop stores to order enough to meet the minimum order requirement. So now we are working with distribution. We've got two brilliant distributors. In America, we've got Lion and Healy distribution. And in Europe, we have Music Facts. And this means that we can deliver just a couple of guitars to a store anywhere in continental Europe or the States and Canada. So if you know a guitar store that wants to pick up a couple of new Chapmans, please put them in touch with either Chapman Guitars directly, you can just DM me on Instagram to be honest, or Lion and Healy or Musy Facts. To sum all of this up, I suppose I would say Chapman is more Chapman than it's ever been with The Guardian, even with my dad working with me to tweak some of the ideas and concepts. In fact, my dad is coming to Music China with me in Shanghai at some point soon. Lastly, just to say, I will be at Guitar Summit for the first time ever. Never been to that show. Quite excited to meet a lot of you guys. Uh, since Musy Facts are distributing Chapman in Europe, we'll be at the Musy Facts stand. Definitely shooting videos, making silly posts for Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the right kinds of places. If you see me, please come and say hi. Um, I'm a nice, friendly person, I promise. I see a lot of people from a distance sniping. You don't need to, you can just come up and say hello. Anyway, have an amazing day. Take it easy. Chappers out.